Hello, my name is Maxwell Kelha. Welcome to my presentation, An NLP Approach to Medical Report Classification. I was assisted in this endeavor by Issa Bakar, our faculty mentor, Andrew Shaw, and our research partner at MedStar Georgetown, Ross Felice. Medical students in residency analyze imaging scans such as MRI, CT, and ultrasound, and write reports proposing a diagnosis. Doctors write the final report and provide feedback to students. However, doctors are busy and would ideally only provide feedback when there is a problem with the student's report. Hospitals need a way to automatically identify student reports with such discrepancies. However, doctors are busy and would ideally only provide feedback when there is a problem with the student's report. Hospitals need a way to automatically identify students' reports with discrepancies. Our goal was to create this automated discrepancy identification process. We aim to use the data from existing image reports to train a model capable of understanding and identifying material differences between student and doctor reports. Using such a language model, we could train a classification model capable of determining if a discrepancy between the documents exists and how severe that discrepancy is. Seeing that the ultimate purpose of solving this problem was to provide better feedback to medical students, it would be helpful to visualize the relevant differences between the report pairs. The current method is called a div tool, which merely finds raw text differences between documents. As you can see, it treats insignificant and significant discrepancies between the reports in the same way, which is not ideal for providing feedback. While we had hundreds of thousands of reports at our disposal, most of these were written only by doctors, and we had only about 90,000 report pairs. Of these pairs, about 80,000 were created under direct doctor supervision, meaning the corresponding documents were virtually identical. This left us with about 10,000 usable report pairs. Fortunately, this was sufficient to create our language and classifier models. These pairs had an ID label, a label indicating what type of scan the report was about, and a grade which indicated the severity of the discrepancy between the report pairs. We also combined the labels corresponding to different degrees of disagreement into a single disagreed category. We did this because the model had trouble classifying the report pairs into four categories simultaneously. To create the language model, we combined the corresponding report pairs into a single text string with a delimiter between them. We then created an AWD LSTM model with a word viewing window large enough to capture the entire combined text of about 90% of the report pairs. After training for 23 epochs, we obtained an accuracy score of 0.75, which is quite good for a language model. Next, using our pre-trained language model, we trained an AWD LSTM classifier for 23 epochs with a triangular learning rate and obtained an accuracy of 0.92. You might be wondering why we chose to use an LSTM model. Well, regular RNNs have difficulty learning long-term dependencies in text and typically cannot identify patterns that exist across multiple paragraphs. Since we are trying to compare several paragraphs to several other paragraphs simultaneously, this presents a problem. An AWD LSTM model is a special type of LSTM. LSTMs typically use a method called dropout to prevent overfitting, wherein the output weights of hidden layer nodes in the model are randomly reset to zero. Unfortunately, this can inadvertently obscure long-run trends in the document, which is precisely what we are trying to detect. Instead, AWD LSTM temporarily uses input weights of zero without permanently changing the weights with a certain probability of one minus p. Next, I'd like to briefly touch on the concept of attention, as it is relevant to the new visualization technique we utilized. Certain NLP models, such as AWD, LSTM, use attention to interpret sequences. Rather than encode an entire sequence into a fixed length vector, the decoder attends to different parts of the source at each step of the output. The model learns what to attend to based on the input of the sequence and what it has produced so far. Using the classifier model, we were able to significantly improve our visualization capabilities. Certain parts of the document are highlighted in green colors. These are the words that the model has determined are most important to its decision. In this example, the model correctly identified the report pair as disagree. The visualization indicates that the term brachiocephalic led to a decision to disagree. As you can see, there is a meaningful difference between what the student and doctor said about the brachiocephalic fistula. In addition, the visualization indicates that the doctor made a comment about avascular collection that the student missed entirely. The model is also capable of distinguishing between report pairs with significant and insignificant differences. The model has correctly identified this report pair, which has only minor phrasing differences, as agree. 
This methodology has other applications in addition to comparing imaging reports. It is particularly good at binary classification of other medical texts, such as pathology reports. For example, we can determine whether cancer pathology reports indicate a malignancy with 95% accuracy. Going forward, we intend to further improve this model by implementing stepwise classification so that we can determine the degree of discrepancy between report pairs. We also plan to implement two bidirectional models, a Transformer XL and a bidirectional AWD LSTM. Currently, the model only looks from the doctor's report backwards at the student's report. It does not look forward from the student's report to the doctor's. This would likely improve our accuracy and the reliability of our visualizations. Thank you very much.